Today from Boat on Course, you'll learn all about fueling a vessel at a fuel dock. Marinas are likely to have heavy traffic at the pumps, so be prepared to practice patience and plan ahead when visiting a fuel dock. You can communicate with the marina using your VHF radio to alert them of your place in line. Tell the deckhands your boat name, and they can wave you in and help you tie up when it's your turn. It's important to follow proper fueling procedures to prevent onboard fires. You should also know that there are laws protecting our waterways and marine life. You are responsible and legally required to report any fuel spills. Keep watching Boat on Course to learn how to safely and responsibly fuel your vessel. When you pull up to the fuel dock and it's your turn, you should first put your fenders out and secure your boat to the dock. Make sure everyone keeps their life jacket on when near the water. Once you're tied up, turn off the engine and have all the passengers not involved with fueling get off the boat. Make sure all open flames are extinguished, all electrical switches are off, and nobody is smoking. Additionally, close all ports, hatches, and doors. Gasoline vapors are heavier than air and can spread quickly into enclosed spaces. The person fueling the boat needs to stay with the boat. It's all about safety, and this isn't the time to visit the marina shop. When fueling, make sure you have the right type of fuel and know the amount you need. Only fuel your tank up to 90% since fuel expands in the heat. Keep the nozzle in contact with the edge of the fill opening to prevent buildup of static electricity and sparking. If there are any spills, clean up with an oil-only absorbent pad and wipe down all surfaces that may have come in contact with fuel. Remember, you are legally required to report fuel spills and to take prompt action to clean up any spills that may have occurred. Once you are finished fueling, ventilate the boat and open the closed ports, hatches, and doors. Turn on the blower for at least four minutes to allow proper ventilation. Double check the bilges and closed compartments for gasoline vapors. A simple sniff test is the best method when checking for fuel leaks. If you or any passengers smell fuel, immediately turn off anything electrical and make sure that the engine is still off. Once you're reasonably sure that there is no fuel leak, the passengers can get back on the boat and you can restart your engine. Now that your tank is full, go and have a fun and safe day on the water. 